This is breaking news folks, and this is actually not the video that I intended to make. Aerion, the supersonic jet company, has shut down completely. Now there's only real one contender, maybe apart from Spike Aerospace who are building their version, to become the next private jet or Concorde 2.0. Each plane was slated to cost 120 million US dollars, which in terms of private jets is expensive, but if you can save on time, that is something that is priceless. The Arion only went for a speed over around about a thousand miles per hour, but it was without the sonic booms or the loud cabin noise. So I think that this sort of leap in technology would have actually been something quite easy to do. Arion has shut down. They've decided that due to market conditions, they were unable to seek additional funding to continue development of the AE-2. They actually required around about 4 billion US dollars to bring their plane to the market. And it looks like it's not going to happen, which is a huge shame because apart from boom, uh, Supersonic, who's been uh, touted as the next builder of the Concorde 2.0, Arion was developing a different market contender and something that could actually be brought to the market beforehand. Essentially, they were building a quiet supersonic jet. It was something that used the laminar flow technology. It was a development research done by NASA to develop a plane that didn't have sonic booms, but could still fly pretty fast. So they were building a private jet with this technology that could sidestep all the environmental laws around the world preventing supersonic travel. However, it seems like that the market, even though it was recovering from COVID, there just wasn't enough money there from investors to carry the project forward. In a statement to media, they said, the AS2 supersonic business jet program meets all market, technical, regulatory, and sustainability requirements, and the market for a new supersonic segment of general aviation has been validated with $11.2 billion in a sales backlog for the AS2. However, in the current financial environment, it has proven hugely challenging to close on the schedule and necessary large new capital requirements to finalize the transition of the AS2 into production. Given these conditions, the Arion Corporation is now taking the appropriate steps in consideration of this financial environment. The Arion AS2 was supposed to come out around about 2026. So you can see that their market plan to beat Boom Aerospace is definitely no longer going to happen. They were partnered up with Boeing and General Electric. So clearly they had the technology and the expertise, but it looks like that it wasn't enough. And that's such a shame for all supersonic and aviation lovers out there. And this is as soon as uh, recently, they actually had some developments. The company was planning to build $375 million facility in Orlando and do sort of the mass production there. It had like a big like reveal with the Florida governor. It was expected to bring 675 high paying jobs to the area. And currently it has a workforce of 150 with 25 people moving to the airport to start setting up the factory. So this news is gonna disappoint a lot of people who are hoping to sort of get jobs in that space or to, uh, you know, see that area of the world become sort of an aerospace space travel hub because of course that's where elon musk is around not not near orlando but he's you know cape canaveral and then there's spacex is also down there so this is actually a little bit of a shock and i was i was pretty sure that this project was going to go ahead so with them out of the way and actually that's not a nice thing to say, with them no longer uh, happening, that only leaves sort of two or three other contenders in the supersonic game. There is of course uh, Spike Aerospace who is building their version of a supersonic plane that as you can see from the graphics, leaves a little bit to be desired. I've actually done a whole video on this on my other channel, so you can go check that out. I'll put the link down in the description. Then there's also Boom Aerospace, who's endeavoring to bring a a future in which you can get anywhere on the planet in four hours for just a hundred bucks. Jet, a private jet that flies supersonic with three engines 
to the market by sort of 2029. Now for my personal opinion, I think going forward, uh, the idea of a faster than normal private jet is a gold idea completely. The one thing that billionaires don't have is time. And having such an aircraft that would allow them to get, you know, point A to point B faster than us mere peasants would be an incredible deal. And we have seen that luxury air travel, like the sales of private jets and other things like that, have not really been affected by COVID. So it's really surprising to see that perhaps uh, these jets, they were unable to secure funding with this extra sort of, uh, they were shy around about 3.8 billion US dollars. We don't actually know yet, and media have reached out to Arion for comments, but we haven't heard anything. So it is interesting that uh, they were unable to get the funding when there are plenty of rich Russian billionaires. But we do know that the Russians are working with Dubai to build their own supersonic private jet, which I've also covered in another video that uh, you can get down in the description. So potentially the reason is that uh, Arion was unable to secure funding is that either with Boom Aerospace or they were funding the other programs with national governments like Russia and Dubai. This is pure speculation on my part, by the way, but you know, logically, you can see that you would either invest in a company that has a prototype, Boom Supersonic, and I keep calling them Boom Aerospace as well, I do apologize, they actually, I believe they changed their name, or you're going to partner with a government, especially if you're from Dubai or you're a Russian billionaire, you're going to go with a country that you're a national of. But overall, this is a sad day for aviation because I think that this laminar technology was actually very uh, easy to realize. It was a smaller step than going the same speed as a Concorde. The uh, Arion didn't go as fast. To sum it up, they didn't have the money to actually bring the product to development despite having the sales, which just goes to show you might have $11 billion in pre-orders, but it wasn't enough for the $4 billion in development. Thanks so much for watching. This is Nick from Aviation Station. Click that subscribe if you want to see more daily news and follow me on Instagram with these socials down below to see more behind the scenes stuff. Thanks for watching. And that's why it's a little bit haphazard. I haven't even got a stand for my microphone. This light is like brand new and I've just kind of like, I'm hacking this together. So this is brand breaking news.